Is it your absence that makes me hate you? Or the regret that makes me resent you? How about the blood that drips from hearing your name? My heart is cold, my mood is blue. All for one reason, there's no faith in you. Kenny LaVar Fredrickson, born November 22, 1981. He was found at the age of four at a gas station abandoned by his mother. So what's her name? Her name is Sweetie. I yearn to taste your succulent nectar. That fruit that could be my doom and yet my high. Is it passion or poison? So I seen you my fiance. Who's that? Uh, no one. She's been getting late phone calls at night. Well, have you tried listening to her? What? Did you hear what I said? You know, if you don't, somebody else will. Chocolate covered lies with poison inside. A lonesome daily rose, cold thorns on it that high. You gave it all of me with a ribbon tied sweet. Oh, what a fucked up sweet ass treat. You sold it with a cheap ass dream. And love me and take me away from all my pain. <sighs> hey, baby. Me, I'll never be the same. They say? said 210. This way, this way. Let's just wait. Let me go. Look, you the one who need to hear this more than anybody. Crystal, tell her. Don't you break me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> he got a shot in the stomach, but they found him just in time. Do I even know who did it to him? I may not have had the guts to tell you when you're awake, but Nathan, I love you. You heard me? I'll take you away from here. I'll take you. No, baby, won't forsake you. I need you in my world. Baby, the thing is that I need you. I can't see me without you. That's why you are. I just wanna be wrapped up the round. I'm so caught up the things you do. Oh, baby. Happy New Year. How you feeling, Nate? <clears throat> Much better. That's good to hear. 
But why aren't you at your place? Well, I brought him here so we could all take care of him and make sure he's fine. Who's we? Kira! I'm kidding. I'm a nurse, so I got you, Nate. Thanks, Kira. No problem. Lift this up a little bit. Oh, can you do me a favor and grab me two more pillows and a blanket for Nate, please? Why can't you do it? Really? You said you would help. Plus, I'm gonna make us lunch. I'm just kidding. Anything for Nate. What's up? What are you doing? I'm working. Is there something you wanted to talk about? Yeah, actually. I was just wondering if you would like to go to lunch sometime. I'd love to, but remember, I'm, I'm trying to focus on my relationship with Stacy right now. I want a good role, and I'm, I don't want to do anything to ruin it. Yes, I know, but... Honestly, we're just going as friends. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. You're positive. Kevin, I'm positive. Yeah. All right, I'm down. Um, it'll have to be later on this week, though, just because I'm having lunch with Stacy today. OK, sounds cool. All right, um, I'll text you when I'm free. OK. Uh, all right, bye. Bye. Hey, Nate. What's up? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. You straight? Yeah, I, I should be asking you, though. I'm fine. I should be back to the old Nathan in no time. It's good. But what's up? Uh, nothing. So, so, how about that kiss? Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, it was a mistake, I, I shouldn't have. No, it wasn't. I mean, at least for me it wasn't. I meant every single word that I said. Did you? Yes, I did. So why we sugarcoating things? Can't help how I feel about you. What about you and Valerie? See, that's the thing. I've been wanting Val for so long that it's just not everything I thought it would be. These last few months just felt different. I mean, Val's cool and all, but she's just not you. Really? Yes. I don't leave me hanging. You feel the same way? Yeah, I do. So you love me? Of course I do. But we'd never work. Because our relationship. All right, after I got shot, I just realized that I could be here today and gone tomorrow. So I don't want to wait around for what I really want anymore in life. I feel like I just have to go out and get it. Wow, you're really going in. Yeah, I mean, I meant every single word that I said at the hospital. And I hope you did, too. I love you, Tori. Look, if we're going to do this, it needs to be official. I don't want to sneak around anymore. That's exactly what I was thinking. OK. But it got to be done at the right time. And when is that? I say like two weeks. Why so long? Because I don't want to be staying here and crushing Val's heart at the same time. And how do you think I feel? I don't want to feel guilty for loving you. Me too. It just has to be done at the right time. But we both got to do it. Okay. I agree. Alright. I'll tell Val soon. Promise?
fun. Hey, this is Kevin Bauer. Please leave your name and number and I'll get back to you at my earliest convenience. Have a good one. Kevin, where are you? This is Vanessa. I'm here at the restaurant. You're nowhere in sight. Like, really? Just give me a call when you can, please. Bye. Hey. Hey. You alright? Yeah, I'm fine. All right, let's get this last box upstairs and we can go home and have some fun. Kind of fun. You know, like fun, fun. Yeah, well, uh, let's, let's make this quick then. Let's go. Hi, is Nathan home? Uh, yeah, he is. And who are you? We're just his co-workers. We want to stop by and drop off a get well card from everyone at the gym. Oh, how nice of you to bring that by. Well, I'm Valerie. And you are? I'm Monica. I'm Gigi. Oh, Monica and Gigi. Yeah. Nice to meet you, ladies. Gigi, mm -hmm. what's that short for? My name? Geraldine. Oh! Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Gigi's way cuter. Well, he's inside here, so come on in. Thanks. What do you want now, Tristan? Well, as usual, I'm here to talk. Okay. Talk. I don't know what I've done to you lately, but it seems like you're shutting down. I'm sorry. What are you even apologizing for? I mean, you shutting down, so I figured I did something. Let me guess. It's him, ain't it? Are you serious right now? The man was just shot and you're accusing me of cheating? What else can it be? I'm scared. The same guy that shot him is the same one that pushed himself on Val. And he knows where we live. But you're too busy worried if- Well, what do you expect around. me to believe? You ain't giving me no answers. And I'm not supposed to wonder? Look, Tori, I'm sorry, all right? I do apologize for accusing you of cheating. Look. You forgive me? Let me see your phone. Yeah, okay. Tiffany, had a good time last night? Get out. I wanted to check up on you, make sure you're okay. I didn't know where I was at. That would be me. I overheard Steve on the phone, so we just decided to stop by. And plus, it was for a good call. Show him, Gigi. Yeah, we got you a card. Everyone from the gym signed it. You know, we just wanted to show you some love, support you. Thanks. You're welcome. How's things at work been going? It's okay. It's kind of boring since you're not there. Oh. But there's a new guy in your spot and he's real cute. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And him and Gigi been getting real close, too. Not that close. Oh, 
Alright. Well, you know, she just been showing him around. He's new. She's teaching him the ropes. Hi. Hey, uh, is Monica and Gigi here? Yeah, they're over there. Come on in. Speaking of the devil, Kyle, this is Nathan. Nathan, this is Kyle. Nice to meet you. Yeah, likewise. I heard what happened to you. How's everything? <sighs> I'm good, man. I should be back in no time. Yeah, the clients miss you. But I'll take care of them until you get back. You got it, man. But uh, ladies, I don't mean to interrupt, but we got to get back to the gym. Our break's almost over. He's right. So, get well. We'll see you when you get back to work. Yeah, it was nice seeing you. I'll take care. Hey, Val. Why you look so stressed? I feel like it's all my fault. What is? Nathan getting shot? Whoa, you need to chill. You know Nathan is a hothead, and it's just this time almost got him killed. Because of me. I mean, had I not got involved with Derek, none of this would have happened. But how could you have known that Derek was crazy? Let me tell you something. All men start off normal, and then later they start showing their flaws. Man, I could have told you Derek was crazy with his fine ass. It's them fine ones that you need to worry about. And his eyes, yeah, you could tell he was crazy. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Now, you need to quit stressing, okay? Nathan's fine, Nathan's alive, the cops will find Derek soon, and we'll just move on from this and be this big, happy family again. You know, I really hope so. Me too. What's up? Look, I need your help with something. All right, what's up? I need you to help me take care of Dorian. Like, I need him to pay for what he did to me and what he almost did to Alexis. No, don't worry. I got it taken care of. I'm gonna handle it. No, I mean, like, he needs to pay. Like, really pay. All right, listen to what you're saying now. Just think about it. Go to the cops. If anything, they'll take care of you. They're not gonna do anything. All the evidence is already gone, and they're not even gonna believe me. I mean, it's better to try. Look, Ree, are you gonna help me or not? Because if you're not, then you know better than he is. Relax. I told you I'm on your side. I mean, let's just think about it. Think about what? All right. How about we just go grab some to eat and then think this through? Sleep. Okay. Number and I'll get back to you my brother's convenience. <laughs> Good one. Kevin. Please, please call me back. 
It's been a week. The thought of you gone still haunts me today. I want to call and speak to you, but I know there's nothing to say. It's really hard for me to not hear your voice when I'm feeling this way. And as days go by, the words of you, they run through my mind. And I tried to hide in the bed we used to be in, but I, I can't lie. I didn't sleep at all, looking at your picture on my wall. Man, I got this one chick named Kimberly, who is crazy in love with me. She said she'd always fight for me, but instead she's always fighting me. Verbal left hooks and uppercuts. Damn, baby, chill. Sometimes I need advice on fighting back. Ashley and Will, mind your business. Mind your business. Now that's all I'm saying. So if you gon' look through this phone so much, then pay this phone's bill. And I'm just saying, I understand some insecurities. But did you really have to call her asking what kinds of friends were we? We break up, then make up. The sex is fucking crazy. It's so crazy, cause she played me yet, and still she's still my baby. I'm a she's my lady. We're all prone to mistakes, but it hurts so much inside when you're stuck in second place. I need you, my days are dark without you, and I'd rather hurt with you than be better on without you. But I have to make you stay, so tonight I hit that ass in every way. Man, you must think that I'm a horse, Mr. Kentucky Derby. Well, I ain't gonna chase you, babe, no ass is that worthy. But I hate these immature games. You must be trying to learn me. Now you wearing your tightest dress and acting flirty, flirty. flirty, flirty. Hold on.